Clyde, did you do this? Our bucks are just a little too rough on this feed station that I built to keep their feed dry. Sometimes they'll knock it over like this. Sometimes they just push it around so that it's harder to reach over the fence and feed them. I want the feed station to stay more or less put so we don't have to come in here to feed the goats. Around feeding time later today, it would be chaos trying to move this feed station closer to the fence just so we could give them their food. The goats would be all over me. <laughs> like that. Yes, DJ. Just like that, DJ. Yes. Yes. Anyway, I'm gonna use a T-post to help wedge this thing in and keep it from moving around so much. It's all right. Nothing to bark at. All right, if you can hear me over the dog. I've got it wedged right here against the T-post. Got it braced up here against the fence. And down here on a little stump. They still have access to get to the feeder on this side. I'm hopeful that this will work. One of the things I really like about where we live is how close by places are that we need for homesteading. Some businesses we go to more than others, so in no particular order, here are some of them. Technically, Goodwill isn't really homestead related, but it's real close to where I get my haircut and I needed to get a haircut today. There are several Goodwills within about a half hour of our place. This one's a little further out. It's in Beaverton, but it is my favorite. I get all of my homesteading t-shirts at Goodwill. Work shirts are homestead relating, I think, so it counts. Feels good to have the new haircut. I usually wait a little too long between haircuts. Portland Nursery in Southeast Portland. We get, of course, plant starts here and various products for our garden. But really, the experts here are what really sells it for me. If I have any questions about plants, I know they're gonna know the answers. Incidentally, that last stop 
You may be wondering why I go all the way out to Beaverton to get my hair cut. That place happens to be a school for learning how to cut hair, and they only charge eight bucks. It used to be five, they raised their prices. I like cheap haircuts. Habitat for Humanity Restore in Southeast Portland. There are a number of these around town, but this one is my favorite. This is like a goodwill for building supplies, and a lot of my building projects started here. Just the best prices you can imagine for that kind of stuff. Winx Hardware in Southeast Portland. This may just be the best hardware store ever. If I can't find something anywhere else, chances are they'll have it here. If I don't even know what I need for a project, chances are their experts will. <laughs> Home Depot right here in Oregon City. Building supplies, tools, home improvement, plant starts. Whether you're homesteading or just a homeowner, the Home Depot is a place you're gonna be spending a lot of time. We also shop at the Lowe's here in Milwaukee, but the Home Depot is closer, so they tend to get more of our money. Cedar chips, bark mulch, topsoil, gravel. Clackamas Landscape Supply is right here in Oregon City. Harbor Freight in Milwaukee is another good place for tools and equipment. Interestingly, right across the street from Harbor Freight, is the Truck King. This is where we bought Elmo our big red Ford F-250. Aaron's Honest Engine in Gladstone is my go-to place for lawnmower and chipper shredder servicing. Coastal Farm and Ranch here in Oregon City is one of the places we get most of our feed and supplies. I was using a T-post earlier in the video I'm pretty sure this is where we got most of our T-posts. We also got those cattle panels that we used as curved, covered wagon style garden trellises. The other place we go for most of our feed and supplies is Wilco in Oregon City. This is the closest feed store to us and they have proven very reliable over the years at having in stock what we need. 
This is where we got all the fencing for our goat enclosures. And we bought quite a few baby chicks here too. It's been a little while since I've been to Union Mills Feed here in Molino. We used to get all of our chicken feed here. It's great because they source their feed from local farms. And it's great to support the local economy. They're just a little bit further out and not quite as convenient for us to come out here. So we really haven't been coming out here that much lately. It's good to have tractor supply here in Malala as a backup feed and supply store, just in case other places run out of something that we need. They're a little further out, so we don't find ourselves coming out here that much. If it's not one thing, it's another. The goats have probably knocked this feed station and the hay feeder over one too many times. That one leg has come off before and it doesn't want to screw back on quite as tightly as it originally was. So I'm going to pull this hay feeder out and switch it out with the girl goats since they're not as hard on their hay feeder. You, yes. It just, uh, it just feels a little stripped to me. Come here, Oscar. Come here, Oscar. Oscar. Come here, Oscar. Come on. Yep. Come on back. There you go. Okay. Everybody's in. Here we go. Try not to break this one. Yes. Yes, it's okay. I just ran down to Wilco and got this JB Quick Weld. It's a two part quick setting steel reinforced epoxy. I'll let the hay feeder cure for a few hours before I move it back in with our does. Thanks for watching. Please remember to share this video with your friends, click the like button, and subscribe. It's got a little
stick. <laughs>